What's up guys, Connor Thrifts here, back with a brand new video, and life has been super crazy. I'm gonna try to get this video out today. It is now 2.25, I almost said two like dollars and 25 cents. I don't, I'm just thinking about money all the time, I guess. My roommate and I are both quarantined in our house. We both come in contact with a lot of people, and usually I go see my dad every day, but he's a little bit older, so I don't wanna go over to his house. Maybe I'm carrying it, but I don't know. I don't wanna risk that by going to see my dad all the time. I'm gonna go over to my dad's house because I accidentally shipped a bulk purchase to his house. And I know this is a little sketchy. I like doing unboxings and like bundle buys, I purchased 46 t-shirts from my friend Capital Vintage and it was $240 shipped. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I ride a bike. I'm not gonna be able to carry that big ass box all the way back to my house because it's like a four mile bike ride. But I'm gonna go over there. I think I'm gonna bring a duffel bag, take all the shirts out. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like 100% honest, I'm gonna try to cover my eyes while I put these shirts in the bag. So when I get home, I get open up the bag, and I could be like, yo, we got this, this, this. And I also have a bunch of other packages, a couple Disney tees. I also did a trade with my friend Creek Vintage and I think I got like five or six t-shirts and I traded him a pair of shoes. I always like hooking him up. So whatever he wants on my eBay store, I'm usually just like, yo, give me some inventory. Give me a few t-shirts and we can do a trade. So usually we do it like that. And he goes through a bunch of running shoes because he works out all the time. I don't think I've worked out in the longest time. I've never even been to the gym before. I am also getting a little bit chubby, you can see right there, from staying quarantined in my house. So hopefully this bike ride kills a couple pounds off me. I just ate a sandwich, so I'm all juiced up, ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know if this is gonna be like a crazy video or anything, but I appreciate you guys for supporting me. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. I did spend $240 on 46 t-shirts. So if you guys are a reseller, you guys like, there's not gonna be anything crazy in that box. But you never know, maybe there's an item that I appreciate more than he did, or it was easier for me to move on eBay than it was for him to move on his personal website. I actually don't even know where he sells his stuff. Capital Vintage though, check him out. I think he's on Instagram, he should be on most platforms. So I appreciate the bulk bundle. If you guys are interested, I will definitely leave his Instagram like right here and you guys can contact him if you guys wanna buy some bulk during this tough time since there's no thrift stores open, there's no flea markets open, basically nothing's open. The only things I'll be able to open up for you on camera are probably the packages, maybe even Creek Vintage's package, but I already know what's in his box. The big box of 46 t-shirts, I don't know what's in it, but if you get like four or five of those 30, $40 bills, then those are gonna add up and pay for the box and and the rest of the stuff is just fluff. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and enjoy the ride. It's pretty empty out, honestly. It's a pretty chill bike ride over here. I probably look like shit. I don't know if you guys could hear me that well. Probably like another 10, 15 minute bike ride to my dad's house. Can't wait to see uh, what I get for $240 during uh, Corona season. Guys, here's the box. I gotta put it all into my duffel bag. Got some Oneta tags. Looks like some decent stuff. We'll see. Hopefully it all fits. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back from my dad's house. I got this bag, which has a box in it from Creek Vintage, and then another bag, which I believe was from my friend, and she hooked me up with a Disney t-shirt. I think I paid 15 or 20 bucks for it, and she was like, oh, I was gonna give it to you for free, but since you offered money, I'll uh, take the money. I was like, okay. <laughs> she showed me the shirt and she's like, oh, do you like this? I'm like, hell yeah, how much? And she's like, oh, I was gonna give it to you for free. All right, so we got this package from Creek Vintage. We're gonna see what's in it. I'm not a very good box opener, honestly. Getting into this box from Creek Vintage, I could see like a Logo 7 tag. Looks like we have some track pants. I honestly forgot what I got from him, but I knew it was like a really good amount of stuff for like the $60 pair of shoes. So we have this, which is United Colors of Benetton. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but looks like we got like a starfish on there. Usually their pieces do pretty good on eBay, so I'm gonna say like 35, 40 bucks. Then we have this Cowboys shirt, which my roommate's definitely gonna want this. So I'll probably, oh, it's a size medium, never mind. This is a really cool, oh, it's kind of thrashed, I don't mind. Wolf tea. Oh, it's like all over print. I like it, and it says Alaska on it. I would say like 25 bucks, maybe 20. All right, next we have some type of art tea, 
and it has cats on it. Kitty cats. It has some like pink stains around the collar. Like right there, I don't know if you guys would see that. The lighting's really bad in here. We got the Sherry's Best, size XL. Mickey and his gang at the beach. Maybe I'll keep this one, it's kind of cool. Tommy Hilfiger Vintage Track Pants. I usually do very good with Tommy Hilfiger Track Pants and these are a size, I don't know guys, look at that logo. Is that bootleg to you guys? It doesn't have a tag on the inside. It just says this white tag, which probably suggests that it's not real. I always save up all my like bootlegs and stuff for like a vintage store, like a pop-up place that I can't sell my bootleg stuff on eBay, so I usually just sell it like locally. We have these 90s Nike gray tag track pants with a little swoosh right there. I usually get like 20, $22 for those. I price them kind of low because I see people charging like 25 or 30, but then I don't see any of them selling. So I put mine for $22.99 plus like $4 shipping for the track pants. Now this tee is from my friend over at Dirty Dan Thrifts and it is a Disney tee, I know that for a fact. Hopefully it fits me really well. She measured it and it was like 23 inches by 29 inches, which is a perfect size extra large for me. I think it's a one size fits all. And this thing is crispy as fuck. Holy crap, look at that. Oh my God, shout out to Dirty Damn Thrifts. I don't even know if she has like an Instagram account for Dirty Damn Thrifts, but I'm pretty sure it was just like a SpongeBob joke with her and her friend. But yeah, it's all over, like double-sided, and it's like mint condition. I'm so pumped up for this, because I know that it's mint condition right now, but after I wear it, I abuse my shirt so bad. I get food all over it, I get dirt all over it. There's like bike, you, when you touch your bike, you get the grease, and then you wipe it on your pants, but then you, you slide, you like, oh fuck, I got it on my shirt a little bit. That's basically what's gonna happen to this beautiful mint condition tee. This rack right here is my personal collection. Anything behind this Versace shirt, is Disney tees, and then once you get to the Kuji sweaters, behind the Kuji sweaters are just regular like 90s tees. If you guys want me to do a video on my personal collection rack, let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely show it off this week. I honestly don't think I looked at more than like four tees, and I already know like 10 tees that are in here. So I'm gonna go through these tees. Most of them are supposed to be 90s, but he said there was some like mixed in, some fluff, so I'm not complaining. It's $240 during a crisis. I know I'm gonna make at least probably 200 bucks from what I saw from the picture of the 14 tees that he sent me and the rest will just be a mystery. And I did see some beautiful colors, some good colors. I saw some stains when I was pulling because I pulled about probably eight t-shirts at a time and stuffed them in this bag. So what I'm gonna do is try to recreate what I did and pull them out like that. So this was like a basically what I pulled out and I saw the side like this and I was like okay there's some potential there so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the bag down make sure I don't crush my I have a big loaf of bread on the floor don't want to crush my loaf of bread that's my food so I don't have to go to the kitchen and get food oh right off the bat all right so to get this thing started we have this embroidered made in USA Minnie Mouse tee I'd probably say like a $25 bill right off the bat the tag looks kind of weird look at this tag it says too cute made in USA and it says Guetta Brothers. I assume maybe like a $25 bill right off the bat. And oh, dude, this guy must know I love Disney because oh, it's a size medium though. Like pff. we have the vintage Disney tag size medium and the Walt Disney tee with Mickey Mouse and the castle. $25 on my store all day, maybe even 30. Next we have a vintage, what does it say? Curly's Gym. Cur Wait, does it mean like curly as in uh, like the Three Stooges, or am I just an idiot? I have no clue, this is this video is gonna get a ton of dislikes. This thing is so crazy. This is size medium on that Hanes Beefy. You got like the 2001, and then the logo is like really crazy. It's got, oh my God, there's so much stuff going on in this logo. But we have Viper Days 2001, that is so sick. Maybe like a 25, $30 bill on that one. Absolutely, positively international tee. Pretty dope, it has like a bunch of flags. And this is a Federal Express tee. And single stitch. Tag is on this hefty tag. And it does have a little bit of stains right here on the collar, but definitely like a $15, $20 bill. Another really dope one, University of Hawaii. Wow, that is so cool. And it's like a volleyball tee. Front, I don't like these types of tees. I know people do, like they collect them. But I don't like when the front has like a small graphic. I usually like the graphic on the front. Crazy shirt, Hawaii, size large. That is so sick. That is really dope. And this piece is screaming like $30 to me, maybe even more. But it is volleyball, which also like pfft, plummets it a little bit, but it's still good money. Next we have, oh, this thing feels old too. We got the jerseys tag, and this says Americans Against Abortion, 1985. So that's really cool. 
1985, probably barely worn maybe because of the subject matter. Next we got that Power Pro Oneta tag and we got the lion and the lamb and it says in, in that day, 218. Bible shirts have been like popping right now so maybe like a 25, 30 dollar bill on that one. One of the best quarterbacks on the Philadelphia Eagles. Donovan McNabb, number five. And it's on the back right there. It's pretty like an older tag, like early 2000s for sure. That is dope. It's not my job, man. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's such a basic D. Oh man, this thing is yellowed. It says 1998 torch run on the back and it's the Pennsylvania law enforcement. Oh, the graphics are actually pretty cool on that one. And then on the back it has all their sponsors. And it says community of heroes definitely the heroes out there right now in the medical field i can't thank you guys enough like you guys are like the real fucking heroes of this world next we have a early 2000s and this is actually really crazy because it does have a graphic it's not like a basic t you got the size xl nike but then that check over there that's embroidered and that's gonna be good money for me probably like a 25 dollars bill on that one all right it's not vintage but we got the 2007 kellogg's cornflakes with a little rooster right there you know that big cock right there here we have definitely like a size small it says made in japan hershey's yo is this like a vintage women's hershey shirt this thing is sick i just don't see in that being like 70s or 80s but the style of this tee is definitely giving me like a 70s vibe <laughs> Oh, Corona. I'm just kidding. Next, we have a Peru Academy, and this is a large, and on the back it says Lima. Single stitch, true vintage Peru Academy shirt. I don't know how much that's worth, maybe like 15 bucks. 20th anniversary Duke Ellington School of the Arts. That's actually really cool. Why is my lighting cube getting fucked? All right, next we have NFL Films. Wow, that is crazy. I've never seen an NFL Films tee. That's dope. I don't say it's crazy expensive or like crazy rare, but it just looks so sick. We have that vintage Russell Athletic size XL. Got the little hint on the front and then on the back, NFL Films. All right, we're gonna, we gotta fix this somehow. This lighting, oh my God, this is terrible, fuck. All right, so it looks like I will be doing the rest of this video this way because the lighting is a tiny bit better. It's still fucking terrible, like I'm so pissed off. But we have number one is extreme, is just a word, go live it. Pretty dope, like skiing tee. Pretty dope, one size, made in USA. That's actually really cool. Then we have God Bless America. Oh man, rest in peace. Size XL, the 911T. Wow, this thing is actually really clean. Got the American flag on the back. Then on the front, you have just Screaming America, United We Stand, with the eagle and the firefighter on the front. 98 Rock Livestock. Yes, sir. Size XL, made in Burma. And then we have, oh wow, that's pretty cool. Got God Smack, Def. Def Leppard, something right there. Uh, three doors down, is that what it says? I definitely do not listen to them. This thing looks mint. Like, I, th I hope you didn't send me the wrong tees. Like, this is definitely a crazy deal. This is cheaper than therapy. That's kind of a cool tee. It's a you got Aspen, probably size like large. Yep, larger, medium. Made in USA, Oneta Power tee. Probably like a $20 bill. Definitely a good like vacation shirt. Okay, I'm gonna try pulling out a bunch more tees. We still have a good amount of stuff in there. Oh my God. This thing, oh my, yo, like how are you gonna give me this stuff like that's so good? Like I wasn't expecting this. Yes, there's pit stains, but this Popeye embroidered is so sick. You got the Fruit of the Loom made in USA, 1994. Popeye football tee. This is a graphic and then this is all embroidered. Definitely like 30 bucks on that one. We have a Harley Davidson 100 years. Let's see if there's a backside. There is. It's gonna be like a $25 bill. Next, we have a vintage Chaps Ralph Lauren pocket tee. Oh, I love these old Chaps Ralph Lauren tags. Size large, made in Pakistan. There's nothing on the back. Pretty dope tee. It's got a little bit of yellowing, but 20 bucks in my books. Wow, this is actually a really dope, colorful, like 80s vibe. This says made in USA, size 52. I don't know if this is a women's or what. So next we have the first Un Union Cycling 98. It's pretty dope. First Union Bank. Nice little tee right there. We have this tee, which is paper, paper thin. No problem. We be jamming St. Martin 
Dope tea. Ooh, a P38. Wow, <laughs> it's got the sexy lady down there. Yo, man, you definitely hooked it up with this box. This thing is crazy. The fun ships of Carnival. Yo, throwback 90s Carnival tea. Next we have, oh, it looks like a Keith Haring shirt, but it's probably not. The Keith Haring's go for like big, big money. And this is a Southern Connecticut State University. That's still a cool tea. I'd say like 15, 20 bucks. The two best things in life. Corona? Definitely not the best thing in life right now. <laughs> we got Corona Extra. Got a lot of yellowing, size 2XL, but we got that sexy lady. Who knows, maybe the Corona, like in this Corona thing will be a joke and someone will buy it for like 25 bucks. All right, the last big stack of clothes, and this is definitely looking very unorganized. Beetle? I don't know what that's from, but we got the Oneta Power T. Definitely, I don't know why this feels so weird. It feels like a reprint, but I know it's not. The material just feels so weird. Oh wow, this whole T. This whole T is stained up so bad. Stain, 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 stain. But the graphic, CNN Worldwide, that is sick. Pretty dope little T right there. We got the Philadelphia Phillies. And that is screaming 90s to me as well. Probably like 94. Oh, yo, I'm psychic. We got the Naval Nuclear Power School. Never heard of that before. Seems a little bit sketchy, but we got class 9201. That's a real school, I guess. I don't know. You like tell your homies, be like, yeah, I went to Naval Nuclear Power School. We got the University of Kentucky Wildcats. Got a couple stains right there. Nothing major. I have a friend that really likes that team, so maybe I'll hook her up with that piece, but I think we are all done. That was a lot of stuff for $240, and my lighting is so bad. I really apologize. Hopefully, when I edit this in iMovie, I could adjust the brightness a little bit, but I don't want to, like, saturate it and mess it up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to work on my brightness and getting some nicer lights, maybe like a ring light. So when I film my YouTube videos, they don't look like complete shit. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can actually see the t-shirts that I picked up in this big bundle for $240, 46 t-shirts. Might have been a little bit more because he said he would throw in some extras. So shout out to the homie, Capital Vintage. I really appreciate you. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you liked the video. If you guys were interested in any of the t-shirts that you guys saw, Make sure you guys message me on Instagram. My Instagram is the same thing as my YouTube. It's Connor Thrifts. Make sure you guys subscribe. Comment down below what you guys thought was the best tea. If you guys want to see a collections video of my personal rack of t-shirts and clothes, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys have a nice day. Stay safe. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.